Wang Yi began body commitment to the global fight against COVID-19. China will continue to cooperate with other countries in solidarity and work tirelessly towards humanity's final victory against this pandemic. China is now providing free vaccine aid to 69 countries in emergency need and exporting to 43 countries. Wang said as many as 17 Chinese vaccines have received or are receiving clinical tests. He added China would donate vaccines to global peacekeepers and Olympic athletes. China opposes vaccine nationalism and rejects any vaccine divide or any attempt to politicize vaccine cooperation. Wang stressed the UN's role in the international system as well as the multilateralism embedded in its charter. True multilateralism means observing the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, upholding the UN-centered international system, and making international relations more democratic. This year marks the 20th anniversary of China's accession to the World Trade Organization. The Chinese foreign minister said all countries and regions should stay committed to the principle of win-win cooperation and find solutions together. The answer is not to retreat into protectionism, isolation or decoupling, but to work together to make globalization more open, inclusive, balanced and beneficial for all. In terms of China's massive international development project, the Belt and Road Initiative, Wang Yi said China would continue to promote cooperation with all players so the initiative can be the robust engine for the post-pandemic global economic recovery. He praised ties with Russia, saying they were standing together to maintain world peace and stability. Japan is due to host the Summer Olympics later this year, and China the Winter Games next February. He said the two countries would work together to ensure their success. And on the United States, Wang stressed the importance of dialogue. What matters most is to manage the differences and disagreements effectively through candid communication to prevent strategic miscalculation and avoid conflict and confrontation. When asked about the current situation in Hong Kong, Wang said improving the region's electoral system was a domestic affair. It was to ensure patriots were administering Hong Kong. On Taiwan, he said the two sides would surely be reunited and this was the collective will of the entire Chinese nation. And he called for truthful and objective views on issues related to the autonomous regions of Xinjiang and Tibet. I hope that when reporting on China, foreign journalists will not apply any filter to their camera, beauty or gloomy. Truthful, objective and fair stories will always appeal to people and can stand the scrutiny of the history. China says it will join hands with other countries to address global challenges like global economic recovery, infectious diseases and climate change. China also says it will continue to pursue the policy of opening up and cooperation and promote the building of the new type of international relations with a shared future for mankind. Zheng Yibing, CGTN, Beijing.